her daddy, whatever else follows her. Listen. Daddy, Listen to this bitch. Nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Look at her. Right now, everybody got to be held accountable. I think that we need to circle back to what Shanae said, is that there was a investigation that was conducted by an independent law firm here. And without, I think that transparency Can y'all hear? is what will rule the Y'all said I was here. talking over the and last so video. without having all of the information, it is unfair and irresponsible of us to go and to speculate on that. Because what we have to... Well, I'm not, I'm not speculating. Sure. I have the information. I'm not speculating. But what we have to go with here is the fact that an independent Devil. law firm came in, did this investigation, and the facts that they were presented, they came to the conclusion that Ima Yudoka violated a policy that's, that warranted a one-year suspension, and I share your frustration with the lack of transparency while understanding no, you don't. that there is some things that they need to, from a legal perspective, keep private. Devil. But no oh, matter of fact, he's that, dating her sister. That, this guy right here. The, okay, go back over here. That whatever rule, <laughs> Come on, man. the conduct that was broken on one side, it is not the same on the other side. Stop Thank it. you for your perspective. Stop it. Uh, we will revisit this Stop it. later in our Show. We also Look at her. Straight devil. So still Look at those intentions in her eyes, boy. She said the shit wasn't what? Come on now. The best player in the Let me turn this shit down. Shut your ass up, bitch. Straight up, nigga. I don't give a fuck who agree with it or who don't agree with it, nigga. She's funky dog head ass broad, nigga. In the words of the great motherfucking Snoop Dogg, nigga. Funky dog head ass bitch. Straight up. For her to come out here and try to make it seem like you're going to nail Ime Doka to the cross because of bitch-ass investigation, nigga, I give two fucks about that shit. Period, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking investigation, nigga. How you going to nail it? It said consensual. What does that mean? You tell me what consensual mean then. You know what I'm saying? She should be fired too then, whoever the fuck it was. She should be reprimanded too for her actions in a part that she played in it. Like Kendrick Perkins said, accountability, which I see motherfuckers don't like taking, you know what I'm saying, in this day and age. For her to come out here and say all that bullshit and to try to justify this shit, bitch, you do not motherfucking, you're not compassionate. You know what I'm saying? You have no empathy for what motherfucking um, email Doka is going through in his family. You know what I'm saying? All you care about, oh, they got it right. They got it right. Oh, they said he did this, so he did it. In the eyes of who? Just because they had a private motherfucking investigator? What the fuck? I ain't never seen nobody have a private investigation, you know what I'm saying, in an organization to where a relationship was consensual. So does so does that mean that I need a mother that they need to hire that my motherfucking wife family and my in-laws need to hire a private investigator because I'm married? You know what I'm saying? And we're in a situation with each other where we're trying to figure shit out and, we're, and we work and iron through the differences that we might have about certain things. So you mean to tell me private investigators need to just intrude on all relationships and, 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 and the fact that a woman say, uh-uh, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, oh. He did it. He did it. That you nail a motherfucker to the cross for that? Come on, bro. I don't want to hear. Email Doka... Guess what? If he had violated team guidelines, if it was in his contract, if that was what is in the, you know what I'm saying, memorandum or whatever the, the, the team has that you cannot and are not allowed to talk to anybody on, a, on, on you know what I'm saying, uh, a part of the company or whatever, then I understand that. But for to just say that he was wrong because they had a consensual relationship and a private investigator, and private investigator came in. And deemed it as so. And the woman said, no, I don't think, even though it was consensual, I think, I, I didn't want to be in it. And, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. He did this, he did that, he did that. But you agreed to be in it. But then you don't want to be in it. But then he did this and he did that. Like, what did he do? Was it verbal? Well, you know what I'm saying? Did he, did he verbally abuse you? Did he physically abuse you? You know what I'm saying? Did he touch you where you didn't want to be touched? Because guess what? You agreed to have a relationship with the man. And I'm assuming that you guys consensuated in physical contact. I'm assuming that's what a consensual relationship was. Because if it wasn't consensual, are we talking about rape? Allegedly? What are we talking about here? You get what I'm saying? This shit is bogus, bro. It's bogus. And for motherfuckers that come on TV and try to nail a motherfucker to the cross, that's why I hate this shit, bro. Because every time a motherfucker say, oh, he did it, he did it, he did it, then guess what? He get nailed and crucified to the cross. 
You know what I'm saying? It's that whole me, move, me Too movement shit. You know what I'm saying? Anytime a woman puts out any allegations towards a man, the man is motherfucking guilty until proven innocent. Not innocent until proven guilty. You know what I'm saying? But guilty until proven innocent. How the fuck that work? The, the, the motherfuckers come on national TV and give a press count. Why are we even talking about this? This just should have been some shit that should have been discreet. It should have been in-house. It should have been handled pro in a pro pro professional manner behind the scenes. This doesn't need to be, you know what I'm saying, uh, publicized. They don't need to put this shit on the, on the forefront. And that's why I say that organization is fucked up. And if I'm Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, or, and motherfucking Jason Tatum, I have to get the far the fuck away from them as possible. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't want the coach and you didn't like what he stood for and all that shit, why the fuck did you hire him? They put this plant ass broad in there to entice him, to get him, you know what I'm saying, to, to I guess, go out his character. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that he probably would. And now all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, he's crucified, you know what I'm saying, for having a consensual relationship. Consent. Shoo. Whoa. Consent. Shoo. Whoa. Where's the other parties involved? Where's the accountability? You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear it. All of these lies that the media tell you, motherfuckers, none of it makes sense. And they can't just sit up here and say one thing and I'll be like, oh yeah. Yeah, fuck Emanuel Dokken, nigga. He deserved to be one home. Hell yeah. I'm not that type of dude. Because you know what? I know it's some deeper to it. You get what I'm saying? It's something deeper. And until we can get all of the facts, I already know how this shit works. I know how it go down already. You know what I'm saying? Period, point blank. You can say what the fuck you want. I already know what this looks like and what they trying to do to my guy. Period. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit makes no sense why it's even news. Like Stephen A. said, and I agree with him again, he knows a million motherfucking white people that's having motherfucking uh, relations and a whole shit with certain people that, you know what I'm saying, work for the company. You get what I'm saying? But we don't hear about it, though. And that's throughout professional sports, he's saying. He's saying not just NBA, but through, throughout professional sports. Why is this news with Ime Udoka? Phil Jackson did it. <laughs> like, come on. Phil Jackson did it with Genie. Oh, my goodness. It makes no sense, bro. As soon as a woman come out and say he did it, kill him. Okay. Beheaded. <laughs> That's what they do. It's like, wait, wait a minute. Is this this is like Emmett Till, like re all over again? But the only thing, it's no violent act towards this guy. This is pretty much the same shit. He did this, even though he didn't do shit. It was consensual. Period. And all Emmett Till did was say, "Hi, how are you? How you doing? Rest in peace." To Emmett. Come on, man. Come on. Why is this news? Man, these bras is crazy, bro. I mean, I got respect for women, bro. Real talk, though. I don't have respect for these type of women, though. You know what I'm saying? When women be trying to get over on motherfuckers, though, you know what I'm saying? I cannot respect that. When women do shit and conniving shit, nigga, for a dollar bill, for fame, for fortune, for popularity, to be seen... And they tear their brothers down. I can't fuck with those type. We're the ones who stand up and stand on the front line. Where the Scott Loretta Kings at? The, you know what I'm saying? Where the motherfucking Malcolm X and his wife? Where is all the people that stand beside a great powerful man? You get what I'm saying? And support him through his failures, through his successions, all of that. Where are those at? We're the ones that's going to big up the brother. You know what I'm saying? Love him. You know what I'm saying? Show him grace. And I'm just talking about that. And we, I understand the, the part that the brothers play and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because we make mistakes and we do the wrong thing and make wrong bad decisions too. Yes, and they should pay for that. You get what I'm saying? But what about the motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, who stand tall and proud, you know what I'm saying, who treat people with dignity, with respect, with honor, give people grace, you know what I'm saying? Good people. But they get thrown under the bus because maybe they made a bad, poor decision. You know what I'm saying? The offense does not warrant the penalty that was laid down, in my opinion. It just doesn't. Now, if it was some shit like I said with Phil.